There are many good reasons to switch from your current Windows or Mac operating system to Linux. The new Linux distributions are extremely well polished, looks beautiful out of the box and offers a lot of flexibility in terms of user interfaces, customization and tweaking the operating system itself. But before you make the switch, there are a few things that you should know. So hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and these are 5 things that you should know before switching to Linux. First and probably the most important is the selection of right Linux distribution for you. Linux kernel being free and open source, anybody with a keen computer knowledge can build his or her own Linux distribution by using the kernel and combining it with few packages like display server, user interface and application softwares. Therefore there are hundreds of Linux distribution out there, hence choosing the right Linux distribution is extremely important and will be a significant factor in deciding your overall experience with Linux operating system. Some Linux distribution are made with specific audience or user in mind. For example, Arch Linux or Fedora Linux offers cutting edge technology with latest softwares, while Debian prefers stability over incorporating new softwares. Some Linux distribution gives support for five years, while many others offer support for only a year. But if you're unsure, I would suggest you try Ubuntu or Linux Mint at the start, but you do not have to limit yourself to these operating system. If you do not like it, you can always try something else that works best for you. Second is hardware compatibility. This is probably the biggest reason why most of the new user switch back to their old operating system. Few years back, Linux distribution were terrible at hardware compatibility. Nobody wants to be in a situation where after installing a new operating system, you realize that the trackpad or Wi-Fi doesn't work because there are no drivers available. Therefore, I highly recommend that before you install a Linux distribution, first check out the distribution website and look for the hardware compatibility with your laptop, desktop or whatever device you're installing it on. You can also go to linux-drivers.com and search for your distribution there. Ubuntu is by far the most hardware compatible distribution that I have found. Their hardware certified website also helps quite a lot in searching for your specific device. But I'm not saying that other distributions are not good. You just have to spend a little time on their website to make sure hardware on your computer is compatible. Third is the software repository and package managers. There is no use of installing a distribution if it doesn't have essential applications like a good office suit, email client, music player, etc. Just because it's free. It will not serve any real purpose. Every Linux distribution has its own repository or sort of a warehouse of softwares from where you can download and install a software on your computer. The application for installing, removing or updating the software is called package manager. So both the number of packages in your repository and the package manager is extremely important. For many people installing a software from a command line terminal can be a little too much to ask for. Though nowadays majority of Linux distribution comes with GUI based package managers. So before installing find out if the distribution comes with a GUI based package manager and more importantly if the distribution has all the softwares that you need in its repository. Distributions like Ubuntu, Linux Mint or Debian has the most number of softwares available in its repository. You can find all this information in the distribution website. Also nowadays many distribution has pre-installed software that allows you to run Windows program on Linux. I have reviewed 4 such softwares in my previous video. You can check that out by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. I'll also post the link of the video in the description below. At number 4 is the desktop environment or essentially the user interface. Linux offer a ton of options as far as desktop environment or the look and feel of the desktop goes. Almost all Linux distribution has a primary desktop environment. There are distributions like Fedora that have multiple installation images based on various desktop environment which are called spins. For example, Fedora has an XFCE, LXDE, GNOME, KDE, Mate and Cinnamon spins. Apart from difference in look and feel, desktop environment also differs 
in amount of customization and tweaks that can be done to the desktop. It also influences if the system will be light or heavy on system resources. The four main desktop environments are GNOME, KDE, XFCE and LXDE. LXDE being the lightest on system resources while KDE has the maximum amount of customization that can be done. There are also few Linux distribution, for example Zorin OS, that ships with a user interface similar to Windows, so that a user switching from these operating systems feels familiar while using the computer. Last but definitely not the least is the community or the support behind the project. A strong community is extremely important and can help you a lot in case you face any issue with the distribution. If the distribution has a strong community, they help you instantly with any issue or has a community forum where you can post your issues. Since Linux distribution are free of cost, there's no guarantee that the distribution will not close or shut down from working altogether in near future. Debian has a long history behind it and is sort of the grand old man of Linux distribution. For a long time, it has defined what a Linux distribution is. Ubuntu, Fedora and Dippin OS has a strong support from their corporate owners. So definitely look for these things when choosing a Linux distribution for you. Alright, so that was all. Now that you're aware of these things, I would suggest spend some time, go through the distribution website, search for all these informations, and then try a Linux distribution that suits best for you. I'm sure you'll definitely have a good experience and enjoy this open source world of Linux systems. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment or suggestion, do type that in, in the comment box. And if you want to see more such videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.